Okay, hi, how are you doing? Um, all right, so today I'm looking at Synth Master 1 uh, by KB331. Now, I'm a big Synth Master fan. I've got, uh, well, originally I got Synth Master Player on the iPad and I thought that was an uh, amazing sounding thing. So I, I went and downloaded a demo on the uh, on my laptop of uh, the full Synth Master and uh, I loved it. So I went and bought it and then bought the, uh, the, the Everything Bundle, which included Synth Master 1 at the time because that was just coming out. And um, both incredible synths. Synth Master 1 is kind of like half of Synth Master. Synth Master is, is, is a beast. It's a real monster of a synth. Um, it has very much the same layout with the oscillators and the same sort of routing section, but it's got two layers deep and it's got uh, a lot more in the way of uh, oscillator options. But Synth Master 1 is way more accessible and they've done a beautiful job here. I've been... Um, beta testing this for a couple of weeks now and it's uh it, it really is uh, a, a great thing they've done so um let's have a look see what you got this uh it sounds really really great it's got so much body to the sound so you got uh it's two oscillator synth basically a two oscillator subtractive synth uh, but we've got quite a lot going on here, so let's uh, set this to an init. In it. Okay, so let's have a look at what we've got here. So we've got two oscillators, um, and as you can see here on the graphic, you've really got the whole uh, route laid out for you. Um, I have to say route because I live in Australia. I would say route because I'm English, but uh, if I say route here in Australia, people laugh at me, so it's route. <laughs> okay, um, I've also got my effects section, ARP section, um, I've got a mod matrix with, with a whole bunch of things I can mess around with um, and various attributes I can set for the browser and other settings. So there's a lot to play with here. Right, so this is uh, an init. Let's just look, have a quick look at what we've got in terms of features. I'm not going to build a sound. I tried that a few minutes ago and it didn't work. So I'm just going <laughs> to look at some of the features. So we have... And you see, I've got a sub oscillator and oscillator here working side by side. My sub oscillator has got no volume on at the moment, and I've got um, my oscillator is just using a very basic waveform. I've got more complicated waveforms available, so I've got a whole wavetable section here. So let's pick a, a random wavetable one. And if I look at any of this, these buttons here, you can see the graphic changes. Okay, so I've got the index there. Now I, I can modify that using something like the LFO here. And it will move around backwards and forwards so I go to the mod matrix. Let's uh, pick on. Number one, let's have a source LFO one, and let's send it to, uh, let me see, oscillator one, wave index. Okay, so hopefully this should work. Um, let's give it a little bit of value here. It's just um, doing something with it. Yeah, you can see there, that's how much it's gonna change by, if you look over here. The, the graphics on this are actually beautifully done. Uh, it's all very intuitive and, and very easy to figure out. And there you go. So now you can hear I'm going through my... Uh... Yep, so you can hear me now pulsing through my, my wavetable. I can change the curve of various bits and pieces here as well. This is... And now if I turn on my sub oscillator, and again, plenty of different things I can do. You've got different modes. I can make the sub oscillator modify amplitude or frequency modulation. So if I... You can, you can hear I'm actually starting to modify the frequencies if I use the frequency modulation or ring mod. I'm just going to turn it on to ordinary sub oscillator and I'm going to turn it down to, if I look up here, uh, one octave and let's give it a bit something beefy like a square wave. 
<laughs> See, it doesn't take long. You've already got some real guts building up in this. Now, I've got um, two filters. At the moment, they're working in series with each other. Um, but you, you can mess around with that as well. So I'm just going to use one for now. Let's turn on filter one. Oops, sorry, just get rid of that. That sounds like it could do with some modulation as well. So let's go back to the mod metrics and let's pick on, uh, let's have LFO2 and let's have that on filter one cut off. Let's go, um, fil filter one, cut off, and let's nip over to LFO2 and change the waveform for something, um, something like random, 16 step, this should be fun. Okay, if I go back to keyboard now, and change the speed of that to, say, Oops. And just go back to my mob metrics and make sure I'm actually doing something with it. Here we are. Let's turn the cut off up and down. So I love that stuff. So we've got these two filters. Both of them have lots and lots of options. So we've got Lado, Diode, Lado, State, Variable, Byte. Um, I've got the amp envelope, which is um, allows me to do, to set the basic ADSR. There's a couple of there's a couple of amp envelopes. Um, we've got these three LFOs you can see here. Um, I've got the mod envelopes, uh, a couple of mod envelopes. So there's plenty of uh, modulation sources and plenty of modulation. Um, destinations. Pretty much anything can modulate anything else. And I turn on oscillator 2 here and just set a couple of random bits. Oops, did not do that. Let's set that to another wavetable, something additive. Um, let's just turn one off for the moment, go to two. Let's set a sub for that as well. And again, I'll go for an octave below. And let's give it a waveform of... And so on. So, um, also has a. Uh, let's just go back to a look at a preset now. If I go to the browser, um, you've got lots and lots of presets. There's something like 500 that comes shipped with it. Um, I, because I have the everything bundle, I think I've got a whole bunch of extras in here, which is also very cool. Um, That's the default as you come in, actually. Let's just have a quick look at this one. And if I go to the ARP sequence section and make it big, because you've got, actually got full sequencing going on here. Um, you've got slide and hold built in, as you would have with like a 303 or something similar. And it's poly, so you can actually put chords in there too. <laughs> I think it sound really bad. Um, the joy of pressing buttons at random. And you've got up to you got steps up to I think it's up to sixteen. Let's have a look. Yeah, sixteen steps. Um, you've got a range of octaves. You've got bass time step. So it's you know a basic a basic sequencer, but really very powerful. Let's just get rid of that for now. I think that's all I'm going to show you for now. So uh, it's got an effects section with plenty of effects in it, um, lots to play around with, but uh, I seem to spend most of my time taking effects out of stuff rather than putting them in at the moment, so I'm not going to go into that too much. But really a very, very good synth. You've got so much to play with. I think it's a, 
it's laid out so nicely. I think that it's a, a synth that's not going to challenge even a beginner, uh, but it's got enough to play with for advanced users as well. There's lots of sound design possibilities here, and you can just play around with it for hours. And I think it sounds excellent. So that's that Synthmaster one for you.